Waza! Today I'm going to be installing a 4M foundry kit onto this Huron. Uh, should be pretty sweet. I won't be doing a build video because it does take a while to install, but I will show you some bits and pieces along the way. And uh, we'll turn this into a little mini Stark. As you can see, I've already removed my mud guard and my fort guards. I've got to remove the seat, the tail light, and the rear fender. It's been a few days, I've had to go back to work, but we're gonna get this done today. So far, it's actually been pretty easy. The only bit I struggled with was getting this um, bracket. I had to fabricate a bracket up for the uh, license plate, because this is the license version. Still have to work out what I'm gonna do on this front end as well. All right, got both sides on. Time to put in the screws up here. Those two are actually the longest screws. The two shorter screws actually go under here. I forgot about putting this on. Now we'll just chuck the seat on there. Just remember that this little bit here goes underneath that and the front little fork has to go into that notch. So I reckon it looks pretty sick at the moment. Shout out to our Pro Pleat over here in Perth. Hooking us up with a nice gripper seat. Got the seat on, got the fork guards, Claria front mud guard. Uh, it is the EBMX 72 volt. It was quite a fit in there, you can see a little bubble. You had to heat it up a bit and grind off a little bit on the inside of that lid. But it fits. Just got to sort the headlight front end, what I'm going to do up here, and then it's done. So to make this 72 volt battery fit, I had to grind off a lot from here, just on the flapper wheel. I also see, you can see I ground off a little bit there, and then I just put some heat into it as well. Same thing that Progressive Heat down on their YouTube channel. Big shout out to our Scooter Roof for hooking us up with this 4M foundry kit. Thank you so much. If you need anything scooter related or Suron related, go see those guys. They've got a lot of stock and uh, always quality device. That's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, if you think about getting the 4M foundry kit, I definitely recommend getting one. Just get rid of that front grill because that's uh, horrible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.